we explore our true reality outside the supposed limits of our, our bodies, we can experience delightful levels of love, connection, and the true beauties of life. We're accustomed, of course, to sharing this love with certain people, with our pets maybe, and others, but how would your life expand if you were in love with everyone and everything, including insects? Or in my case, a butterfly. I hope you enjoy my story. This morning I was reminded of a, this beautiful story. It really has to do with connection. Connection with a butterfly, believe it or not. Okay. I couldn't speak to the butterfly. I couldn't do anything with the butterfly. But this morning I was sitting on the beach and in my mind, I'm at that beach now, just like I was several years ago. I'd been out running up and down this beach and, and um, I noticed there was a, a flock, I guess you call it a flock, of monarch butterflies. Maybe a hundred or two hundred of them had all come down and they had, they had landed right at the tide line, you know, where the water was coming in and out. And I looked at them, they were beautiful because they opened their wings and they were all sitting there and doing this and it was just really quite a sight to behold. And then the water came in and most of the butterflies flew away except for one got caught in the water. And the water went over it and its wings got wet and in a way sort of stuck together like this, okay? And I happened to notice that, and I was done with my run, and I went over there, and the tide went out, and there was the butterfly laying there sort of helpless on the sand. And so I, I picked it up, you know, by its, by its wings, like that, being very careful. And I put it in my hand, and I went, I went maybe 30 or 40 feet up on the beach, you know, beyond where the you know, where the tide was coming in. And there was the, there was the butterfly sitting in my hand. And I, um, I was just looking at the butterfly and it couldn't move. It couldn't move its wings because the wings were stuck together with the water. So the only thing I could think to do was to just let the sun come in on, and, and let the sun dry out the wings. I, I, I had thought about maybe trying to put my finger in there or somehow moving the wings aside or better, I would be damaging the butterfly and the butterfly and I were in the process of, you want to say falling in love? You know, the butterfly was trusting me. I was trusting the sun. I was trusting that, that it, it wasn't afraid of me. I wasn't, I didn't know how to communicate, but we were communicating anyway, the butterfly and I. And I don't know how long it took. It took a lot of patience on my part, uh, maybe 20 minutes, I'm guessing maybe 25 minutes for enough sun to come and then and then the, the, the wings could have pulled apart, finally. The butterfly moved them back and forth a little bit. And I just, I wasn't, I was tempted to go like that, you know. Um, but I just waited until it was ready. And then I, I somehow just started to flutter its wings a little bit. And what I did, what I did was I just went sort of gently like that and it lifted off and just flew off like that. And so that was about 20, 25 minutes of connecting with the butterfly. Um, and it was done at a level uh, that was deeper than you could tend to do with most humans because most humans have some kind of a, a wall up, if you will, some kind, some kind of resistance to this kind of love. But the butterfly didn't, and neither did I at the moment. So there we were in love with the butterfly, you know. And that stayed with me for... God, how many, I don't know, 20 years, 25 years, something like that. I still remember it to this day.